program of the associate professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. The course name is Unconventional Machining Process. Okay. Topic is Numerical Problems of Ultrasonic Machining. Okay. Right. At the end of this session, student will be able to solve the problems of material removal rate of ultrasonic machine. Okay. Right. Problem 1. Material removal rate calculation. Okay. An ultrasonic machining process is being used to machine a ceramic material. The following data is available. Okay. So, abrasive particle size is given that is 50 micrometers. Amplitude of vibration 15 micrometers. Frequency of vibration 20 kilohz. Volume concentration of abrasive in the slurry is 25 percent. Density of the work material 3 compared to the centimeter. Volume of the workpiece material removed is 0 0.05 by cubic centimeters. Okay. Calculate the material removal rate in cubic centimeter per minute. Okay. So here we need to find. M R R material removal rate. Okay, right. Clearly, the given data is abrasive particle size, amplitude of vibration, frequency of vibration, volume concentration of abrasive in the slurry, density of the work material, volume of work material removed is given. Okay, here the thing is that. In order to calculate material removal rate, this much data is not at all required. Okay, so some data is required, and the rest of the data is to assess the material removal rate parameter. Okay, not to calculate. Okay, right, right. The formula to find the material removal rate for the present problem is that volume of material removed by time taken for machine. Okay. So here see volume of material removal is given 0.05 centimeters. Okay. This time given machine. Okay. So here time taken for machine is not then assume the time taken for the machining process T is 2 minutes. Okay. Typically, this will be provided or calculated based on other process parameters. Okay. Right. So, however, here in this problem, these other process parameters are not at all sufficient to calculate the machining time. But however, uh, for these many uh, amplitude of vibrations and abrasive particle size and frequency of vibration and volume concentration of abrasive in the slurry, okay, for 25 percent base, just we can assume the time taken for the machining is 0.05 cubic centimeters is let us say 2 minutes, okay, 2 to 3 minutes we can take, okay. So, based on that, material removal rate is 0.05 cubic centimeter. This is given, this is not given, but we can assume. Okay, this is assumed data. Okay, this is the given data. Okay, see here. Here much data is given, but this is not useful, this is not useful, this is not useful, okay, even this is not useful, this is not useful, okay, only this data is useful, okay, now we to find the material report rate, okay, right, now substitute the values here, so that we get point not to find in centimeters, but it is the material report rate, okay. Right. Now, problem number two. Tool wear ratio calculation. Okay. 
to wear ratio calculation. Okay, problem two. Tool wear ratio TWR. Okay, so in a USM process, ultrasound machine process, the following data is observed. Okay, volume of work material removed. Okay, point not three cubic centimeters. Volume of tool material removed. Point not not two centimeter cube. Okay, so calculate the tool wear ratio. Okay, so here just the sufficient data is given. Okay, it seems no superfluous data. Okay, to calculate the tool wear ratio, see here this is what this this is tool. So just fill that tool will be on top and what piece will be in bottom of this. So here volume of tool material removed, okay, volume of tool material removed, okay, this one by volume of workpiece material. Okay, so that is tool wear ratio. Okay, tool wear ratio is the value corresponding to volume of tool material removed by volume of workpiece material removed. Okay, so it is the ratio of volume tool material removed to the volume of workpiece material. Remove. Okay, let us see the same here. Volume of tool material removed by volume of work material removed. So, very simple problem. Okay, just substitute the given values. Okay, so here tool material removed is point not not two point not not two by Volume of work material removed is point not two. Okay, so finally we get the value point not six six seven. Okay, so this means that for every unit volume of work material removed, point not not sorry point not six six seven units of the Tool material are worn away. Okay, cut my point. So here, for every unit volume of the work material removed, point not six six seven units of the tool material are worn away. Okay, right. Next, third problem. Power required for Ultrasonic machine. Okay, problem number three. Power required for ultrasonic machine. A ultrasonic machining setup has the following parameters. Okay, amplitude of tool vibration, frequency of tool vibration, force applied on the tool. Now calculate the power required for the ultrasonic machining process. So, what is the given data? Amplitude of tool vibration is given that is 20 micrometers. Okay. Frequency of tool vibration is 25 kilo H. Force applied on the tool is 50 newtons. Okay. So, this is the given data. Now, calculate the power required for the ultrasonic process okay right now we have the general formula to find the power power equal to f into v okay force applied on the tool multiplied with velocity of the tool okay see here force applied on the tool is given Okay, 
and velocity has not given amplitude of tool vibration is given frequency of tool vibration is given okay now in order to find the velocity of the tool okay v 2 pi f into a where a equal to amplitude of vibration f is the frequency of vibration okay but frequency of vibration in h and amplitude of vibration in meters okay see here in this problem this is given in micrometers this is given in kilo h so here we have to convert into h here we have to convert into meters okay right okay this is frequency in h okay this is amplitude of vibration in meters okay right however we have the basic formula power p equal to force into velocity but to find the velocity we have the basic formula 2 pi f into amplitude okay 2 pi frequency into amplitude in meters okay right now in order to convert microns into microns into meters we have to multiply with 10 power minus 6 okay so this is simple per kilo just 10 power 3 10 cube h okay so 50 newtons is given okay so this is the given data just we have converted okay right now velocity equal to 2 pi this value is f frequency okay so 25 kilo h is given so in order to convert into h we have to multiply with 10 power 3 okay here amplitude is given in 20 micrometers so in order to convert into meters multiply with 10 power minus 6 so finally we get in meters per second so that's is that value is 3.14 meters per second okay so once we get the value p sorry v we can calculate our p p equal to force into velocity force is 50 newtons and this is 3.14 okay so finally the power required is 157 watts okay right see here the thing is that sometimes superfluous data will be given sometimes data will be given to calculate directly sometimes data will be given directly so that we can find the component or segment wise data or calculations and finally we have to uh, find the required uh, or the main power okay right fourth one problem number four abrasive particle density effect abrasive particle density effect if the density of the abrasive particles used in ultrasonic machining process is 4 grams per cubic centimeter and the volume fraction of abrasives in the slurry is 20 percent okay what is the effective density of the slurry okay what is the effective density of the slurry okay right the density of the abrasive particles used in ultrasonic machining so density of the abrasive particles is given that is 4 grams per cubic centimeters and the volume fraction of abrasive in slurry is 20 percent so volume fraction is given that is 20 percent okay what is the effective density of this slurry okay this is abrasive okay so we have to find the effective density of the slurry
okay right now the effective density of the slurry okay rose slurry can be calculated using the weighted average of the densities of the abrasive particles in the fluid medium okay right for that the formula is this one okay volume fraction of the abrasives multiplied with density of the abrasives plus volume fraction of the fluid multiplied with density of the fluid okay but we do not have the data but basically we know the volume okay fractions in a group we have to assume okay right assuming the density of the fluid is 1 gram per cubic centimeter and given volume of abrasives 0.2 and volume fraction of fluid 0.8 density of the abrasives 4 gram per cubic centimeter density of the fluid 1 gram per cubic centimeter okay now density of the slurry equal to 0.2 into 4 okay so this is what we assume here plus 0.8 into 1 that's what we assume here okay so we have assumed all these values okay so that finally we get 1.6 gram per cubic centimeter okay so the effective density of the slurry is 1.6 gram per cubic centimeter okay right problem number MRR, okay, material remover rate with different abrasive concentrations. In a USM process, the following parameters are given. Okay, frequency of vibration is given, amplitude of vibration is given, density of the work material is given, abrasive particle size is given. Abrasive concentration in slurry is given. Volume of work material removed is given 0.08. Okay. Now calculate the material removal rate. The machining time is 3 minutes. Okay. So frequency of vibration 30 kilohz. Amplitude of vibration 18 micrometers. Density of the work material 2.5 gram per cubic centimeters. Abrasive particle size 40 microns, abrasive concentration in slurry is 30 percent, volume of work material removed is 0.08 centimeters. Okay, so here machining time is given 3 minutes. Okay, now we have to calculate the material removal rates. Okay, so here much data is given. Okay, all these things, but here volume of work material is given and time is given okay this is one this is two these two are sufficient okay these two are sufficient to calculate the material removal rate so the rest of the data is just to assess the other parameters not to calculate material removal rate but directly or indirectly these parameters can assess whether this material removal rate is Correct or not? Okay. So with this data, okay. Right here, volume of material removed by time taken for machine. Just substitute the values. Okay. So finally, we get this value: point not to six seven cubic centimeters per minute. Okay. So thus, the material removal rate is point not to six seven cubic centimeters per minute. Okay. Right. Final problem, sixth problem. Okay. Effect of varying frequency and amplitude on material removal rate. Okay. A ultrasonic machining process is being conducted on a brittle material. Okay. The following two sets of parameters are provided. Okay. Case A and case B. Okay. 
So here in case A, frequency of vibration is given. Okay, amplitude of vibration is given. Time taken for machining is given. Volume of material removed is given. Okay, right. The same thing given in the case B also. Frequency, amplitude, time taken, and volume of material removal. Okay. Now calculate the material removal rate for both cases and compare them. See, in order to compare the material removal rate, first we have to find the material removal rate in case A and the material removal rate in case B. Okay. So here uh, the four parameters are given. Out of these four parameters, just we need these two okay volume of material removed and time taken for machine the rest of the data is not useful for the calculation of material removal rate similarly in case b also this data is required and this data is required volume of material removed okay and time taken for machine okay just look at this formula Material removal rate for case A, okay, for case A that is MRRA, okay, and the value is 0.05 cubic centimeters per minute, okay, the value is 0 0.0125 cubic centimeters per minute, okay. Similarly, for case B, okay, here material removal rate B, okay, for case B. Volume of material removed by time taken for machine. Okay, so substitute the values for case B. Okay, so that we get 0.0225 cubic centimeters per minute. Okay, so comparison material removal rate for case A is 0 0.0125 cubic centimeters per minute. Material removal rate for case B is to we get 0. 0 to 5 centimeters per minute. Okay. See here the material removal rate in case B is significantly higher. Okay. So this one is higher. Okay. Then case A due to the increased frequency and amplitude of vibration. See that's what we have discussed here. Okay. So in the problem, these two values have not used in the calculation of MRR but indirectly these two values will give some insights. Okay, in case B frequency of vibration and amplitude of vibration are more or greater than these two. Okay, see here 40, 20 is given here 25, 12 are given. Okay, so here that reason has mentioned here. Okay, clearly due to increased frequency and amplitude of vibrations in case B. Okay. So this indicates that optimizing these parameters can lead to improved machining efficiency in ultrasonic machine. Okay. These are the references associated with this presentation. Thank you very much. Okay. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.